Hello, Will. Well, 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 how are you doing? <laughs> What's up? Anybody who doesn't know, this is Will Bevins. Hey, his reputation should precede him, but if it doesn't, loudmouth, foul language, all that good stuff. Yeah, that's all I already got. Back to back. I don't even know the guy. Back to back sectional championships. Yeah, I I wasn't on the field. You did the important part. Yeah, yeah. You directed. So you guys are gonna roast. You me. yelled at us. That's Do you true. Know every time Aaron that's and I are in the room, that is one hundred percent the best part of coaching. That's why I play. Yelling at yelling. you. You have oh, a no. crappy day, go yell at some kids. It's so much fun. <laughs> we picked it up every single time we're in this park. Anyone clears a ball towards the middle. Yeah, and yeah. I scream, 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 scream at them. Never to the middle. Yeah. Even at that level, you should. Somebody should be yelling at them. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Somebody should be yelling at them. All right, so uh, well, it's a United fan that we can find. Today, yeah, long time, long time. Yeah, United. long time United fan. Uh, Aaron had a question for you. That we're gonna start it off with. I didn't send oh, this boy. one to you. No, um, oh, I get, I get a I'm gonna forward. word it. I'm gonna word it just a little bit better. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna word it. What happened in your past that broke you? Trauma. Yeah, what trauma led you to be a lot of trauma? Uh, I can't talk about it in court. You know, it was oh, a juvenile yeah, thing, and the case <laughs> still sealed. Blah blah blah. No, man, it, there was <laughs> there was George Best, and then there was like Jesus. That's what my grandparents like. There, now I'm not sure which one was up here. Yeah. So we, we just, but yeah, that was it, man. George Best, and then you watched all of the players coming up. And there were other teams, you know. There's disgusting teams like the Arsenal fans. Uh, you know, Thierry Henry of that generation. That. So I'll use your reference point. Yeah. And that that generation of players locking in from Wayne Rooney's and Paul School mm-hmm. too. That that '92 squad was absolutely phenomenal. You know, I mean, they were a lot of fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun watching them go back and forth. It was that breakneck speed, man. They were maybe not always in control, but just just about out of control. But it was fast. the right amount of chaos. Yeah, was it was just fast. You know it was and even they didn't know what was going on. So the other team definitely didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Before it became trademark. They were almost like the first heavy metal football, yeah. where it was just false football. There was still long ball, there was yeah. short pass. You know, you can beat the team both. Yep. And then nice. Wayne Rooney just from 30 yards out. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, it's, it's just it's what it is. I mean, they, he's a freak of nature. He really, he really is. Was. One of my favorite clips from Wayne Rooney is when he's jawing the referee. And, oh, yeah, and then he immediately and jogging, and, yeah, yeah. and then he just turned out and clubbed the ball. Yeah, just, just bangs like, it in. I'm like, like oh, it my was the God. Just clubbed it. Kind of, and then still talk smack to the ref on the way back. Yes. <laughs> Soccer was fun back then. I remember the uh, Ruben Nisoroy penalty mess and how Arsenal got on their face. I think it was Martin Keown. Just like jumps into him and is screaming out. It was a lot of fun back then. There was a game right after Henri got announced as like the ambassador of sportsmanship, which <laughs> <laughs> picks up the he's ball out of the net. He's so now he's bad. the away player. He's not supposed to pick the ball up out of the net and he shakes it in front of uh, our goalies and I came up. Was it had to have been, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, no, uh, Thierry Henry's a lot of things. He's a and reason why I'm all the way back to half line. I was like, somebody clubbed him on the way back. <laughs> so I take him know. out, man. If he's an ambassador of sports, <laughs> yeah, I was like, they were just announcing it, and like 30 seconds later, he's shaking the ball. Like, <laughs> all right, so what else uh, he got for me? United, long time on top of the front. You've now had to watch five of six, yeah, on the other yeah. side. Yeah. And by the way, for anyone, yeah, we understand we live in upstate New York. We got it. it local rivalries are rivalries. It doesn't matter. Uh, what's it going to take for United to get back on top? So we need a few good signings. I won't even go into who because I look at how much they cost and I check every one of them off. But off the ball movement is number one. Like the off the ball movement is, is 90% of the time they're waiting. They play the ball to where the player is, and it slows the tempo down. You can even see it on our fast breaks. They're not fast. They're just not fast. You look at teams like Arsenal, you look at teams like Aston Villa, Newcastle are terrifying on a break. Yeah, just Newcastle. terrifying. Right, too. Yeah. Right. yeah. Nasty. And, I mean, shit, they make their own artificial yeah. you know, um, transitions that make them you know, why deserve he is what he is. But. Well, and I think it's a big reason why Liverpool wasn't that good this year. Their fast breaks look slow to make. It's true. So, the whole team is slow. And un- they haven't gotten a lot of fresh players in, and they haven't gotten a lot of fresh legs in. And that's what happens when your your ownership is – that's a, that's the next part of that. Yeah. But, yeah, unless unless literally Rashford is sprinting or, you know, Gar- Garnacho is sprinting, mm-hmm. 
that's not a fast break. A fast break is a counter. You know yep. what I mean? Like a bunch of players. It's we're reliant on speed right now, and that's not good enough. Um, ownership. You look at all the teams that are struggling right now: Tottenham, Liverpool, Chelsea. The ownership is all over the place. I don't. I'm not even going to point in the direction where it should go, but it needs to be quiet. That should be background noise at the loudest, and it's not in a lot of those clubs. If you can see they're struggling. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, I mean, Arsenal with the Gronkies did the same thing. I remember oh, huge, were, huge riots. I mean, yeah, outside the stadium, yeah, Gronkies we very out. cranky. Like, uh, I, they, they it made it hell no every game. Yep. I think a lot of other, you know, a lot of teams they look at the money coming in, they're like, "We'll, we'll be a little loud," you know, because money's good. It's not always good, man. No. Players like Ronaldo coming back from Man United, that was, in my opinion, that was a shit show. I, yeah, God. That's a loud player, and it distracts from the club. Yeah. And Man U has always been club first. Every all the Roy Keens, they'll tell you that right off. It's club first. Mm-hmm. A presence like that distracts. Oh, Need a keeper too. Need a yep. keeper. I love right. the That's dude, something we've been talking about. The dude style shots. But he's not. He's not. It's just the weird. Distributor. He's a weird goalkeeper. Like he would be amazing, and then he'll just be ass at the same time. You're holding your breath. Yeah. Every time that it gets into the back third, you're just like, <laughs> "That's not good." <laughs> he's a perfect shot. example of why the, you know, the Golden Glove race, clean sheets race, is kind of that's bullshit. a team award. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, you bullshit. can't. It is bullshit. It is. It's because awesome because that the women and the men, the men won it this year for Man U. That was yeah. awesome. But, that is good. But yeah. that wasn't the hail. That was, I mean, a lot of that was Kevin. True. Yeah. I, and I think, like, if I could take away one signing all year, I would not let you not get Casemiro. Hundred percent. I I hated it. Everyone's like, well, I don't know. Who's, I'm like, no. He is what they need at this moment, and I absolutely hate that they got him. Yep. And if it wasn't for honestly a couple of red cards, who knows how high? I mean, true. They'd probably could've... be third. I'm going to give it to him as like a learning experience in the league. Like they're actually calling it this year. Like yeah. they're, they're back to calling it tighter. And their calls have gotten all over the place. But I think if the refs start to call it tighter, the games will be less ugly next year. Trip. Well, there's a lot we've talked about. Less um, fines. Everyone's talking. Oh, because <laughs> the FA's got to make some money. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone's talking about didn't get this. hammered too hard. No, not at all. You guys was, got, got hammered. You a got lot. Yeah. You, you, know what, the, yeah. you know what? I think we kind of deserved it, but I want that. I want that. A little bit of nitty gritty. I want everyone to know yeah. that when you're playing Arsenal, you're playing angry Arsenal. Yes. I want that Patrick here, Henri, Burkamp, angriness. You guys don't have a player that you go, he's a, you know what, see yeah. you next Tuesday. Yeah. But he's ours. Yeah. Man, he's got a bunch of them again. I love it. No, you guys are He's really nice. Nobody likes uh, nice players. On yeah, the field. finesse. No, they're um, very finesse one, players. One thing that we did improve on a lot this <laughs> year is happen, both but... Martinelli and Saka stopped going down easy, and they started dropping guys. Yeah, a exactly. couple of times they got yellow cards for it, but it's like that's what you got to do. I need to show uh, speaking of wingers, this is something I want to ask you. Um, we've talked a lot because we have the three of us have a chat that we talk soccer all, all the time. All the time. Most of the time, we're just speaking into the void, too. It doesn't <laughs> matter if somebody responds or not. I just no, need we're this. all listening to each other. We may not have the ability to respond. It's we a therapy group. I think we could probably get a deductible on our health insurance for it, but whatever. Uh, now we are match 38. How do you, where, where do you land on Anthony? So I could see the progress, and I like the way Ten Hag takes a player off after a stretch if he's struggling. It gives them a mental break. That is huge. And I think he needed a mental break, and he came back strong. I think a little bit when he found a spot and he found his like his rhythm, he had a little bit of a one trick trying to cut Go inside, left. shoot with the left, cut yeah. inside, shoot with the left. It's only one iron. But he problem. but it was working, and he was getting the shots off. They weren't great shots, but I think if he can sort of, we need to support him better on that side, so he doesn't always feel the need to cut in. But I think I think he's somebody we should keep for another year, and I'll I'll say one more year. It's getting it's, alone, it's getting to points where if he comes back, now, I'm looking. That injury true. did not look good, and that's no. a pre-existing injury. That, so. That's true. That's true. And obviously, I hope he comes back. But he's getting to the point now where I see him, and I just it just looks like Pepe 2.0. He's a left-footed My, winger. Minus, minus, minus just a little something because yeah. he doesn't have that edge. Yeah, he's got an edge one-on-one. He loves talking smack. Yeah. He loves getting into people's faces, but. Well, and Pepe was always good with the free kicks. When yeah, we needed him to do that. Yeah, of course, so the guards picked that up pretty well this year. Tell you so. what, there's, there's, and now that Eriksson's back, I know you were going to ask, you know, what the best part of the season is. Eriksson's back. 
Yeah. And I think that gives stability. Where Bruno is a great. I don't. I don't think Bruno's necessarily a leader, but you know, he's a good player to have on the. But he needs somebody to anchor off. Of. Yeah. Bruno, Just like you, yeah. Have, you guys have Jaka. You need someone to anchor off all the time, and he is consistent every game. Plus, Bruno, consistent well, every yeah. game. Yeah. Bruno. Bruno's doing his best <laughs> with. Uh, Oh, Shaka. I love him. I'm glad that's ending good. Yeah, really yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Good, but I'm also I'm not that heartbroken that it's ending. I don't think you need him. I generally I don't, don't think you need him either. either. And I think you can always find another shot. I think if we, well, I think if we had a healthy Emil Smith Rowe, he's more technical, and he's still willing to go box to box. You guys always like so transfer signings. I'm looking at my list of ten, and every one of them disqualified because everything's over fifty mil. And you guys magically go out and find these eight, ten mil guys, and you're just like, yeah, we'll give them a shot. And I don't know what it is, but man, they're on the field and they're, they're well, playing. Well, it's Eddie. Like, Eddie Gaspar has been absolutely yeah, amazing. I, I kind of forget about him. And it's easy to forget about him because he's quiet, which is what I want him to be. Yeah. You know, I mean, the whole Mutrik saga went on forever, <laughs> and I wasn't happy when he went to Chelsea because who's happy when Chelsea get a good player? Yeah. But I'm happy that we didn't pay that. And instead, we got Trissard. And Trissard was a better player for this season. Now, looking forward over the next eight, ten years, Trissard's older. He doesn't have the speed. The raw talent isn't there. But for this season to have that pivot, that was that was that was beautiful. And then Jorginho. In fact, I still don't think he won the league. But we'd be a lot closer to the city right now if Jorginho came in earlier for Thomas Party when Party. I don't know if he was injured. I don't know if his head was out of the game. I don't know if it's just Saliba not being there. But Jorginho for twelve million for a year. That is that. Those genius. are the signings. Those that, are the signings that you need. And again, I don't know. It's just wages inflated all around. But I, I we should be looking under ten, under fifteen. Try to find those wonder yeah. kids. That yeah, are yeah, absolutely. Oh, you know, and it's it's the coming it's the coming through your own. Academy. True, that does help. There, you or, gotta have that base. Or pulling from the academies like uh, you know us, you know the Vandersar is out there. Holy's back out there. Um, ben Nistelrooy is out there. Ben Nistelrooy, well, he's done now, but those are smaller academies we should be pulling from. Like I don't know when a certain ex coach recommended some little guy named Erling Holland. Am I yep. saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. Nobody had ever heard of this dude. Nobody Four is. million dollars. We said nah. Yep. And then here we are watching yeah, literally him win a season Same for Man dude. City. Yeah, like those yeah. are the players that we should be finding. Obviously, you're not going to find an early home no. every year. No, I know. but you shouldn't snub it off so quick either. That was the thing. Yeah. Well, like, and yeah, this guy, whatever. He he scored in Malmo yeah, and he's whatever. Big and fast, and that's it. Martinelli yeah. trialed for Man United twice. Yeah, we passed twice. Hard. And they passed. We passed hard. I just don't get it sometimes. But again, ownership. You don't know where it's lost in the in the in the mist. True. You don't yeah. know who's saying no, and that that doesn't look good as a club. So your big players are gonna they're gonna choose they're gonna choose Chelsea for the money. Yep. They're gonna choose Arsenal for the spot on the table. They're gonna choose Man City for the, the money and the, and spot, the spot on the table. table. You know, Man United, United has something. to go back to the club being the most important part and the badge is the badge. Yeah, exactly. like for the badge. Well, and Arsenal started doing that. We started trimming the fat and now we're in second. And now yeah. now you get people who wanna come for the spot on the table. You get people who want to come because of the Champions League. You do that first, and then you build up, and then you have the money, and now you can do it. Hey, yes, we talk about what City's done, and we can talk about countries behind them. Uh, but even Newcastle, they made smart signings. And they didn't spend a ton of money. But they did they not spend a ton of money. That's a lot of money to spend. They did Eddie Howe. Yeah. Howe's just he's awesome. He really is phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's been a lot of talk about who's Newcastle going to get as a manager in my why, why do you get anybody? Yeah. It's Eddie House. Yeah, why do you so, need anybody? The second he walked away from Bournemouth, Bournemouth was a lead balloon. Yeah. yeah. He was the only thing yeah. carrying him. It really was. I don't I don't really understand that. Uh, do we have anything else? Um <laughs> Dream Player. Dream player. And Better read watch, the notes. And and why right is now. it why is it Neymar? Uh, <laughs> you know, I spent like two hours trying to figure out figure out the answer to that question. And I literally came up with my own. I mean, I guess if I could disregard wages 100%, I, w- I would like to see, like, I, I, was, I don't even know. I genuinely don't know. Because right now, I think we should hold off on signing a big player. So I guess my my, my hopes of a dream sign are out the window. That's a good question. I don't have an answer. No, I, I, well, I think you do. And I think the answer is take all that money and Maybe get the academy money. fixed. <laughs> <laughs> That was my three answers to all those questions. Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Neymar, Neymar. We're done. Let's get out of here. But get, give it, give it to the academy. Get it fixed. Get it fixed. 
Yeah. And you look at Arsenal, yeah, just because Arsenal and Man United for a lot of time are this. And Man United can do exactly what Arsenal did the past couple of years, just with the right – I think they have the right coach. I really do. I think Everton has – You guys are ahead. always a perfect example of financially responsible soccer. It's true. You, you make clubs that – or make choices that don't necessarily benefit the season – which, as a you know, as a third party, I just go, ah, well, that's going to hurt them. But it gives you money. It gives you flexibility on who you can keep. You can, you know, you can raise the wages on somebody. Or, look at that. or profit off of. Like, well, and even a, a nothing person, like, like I got to say to him, um, Florian Balico, uh That's a profit. Yeah, Arsenal's it's it's always, it's been always a profit. That. You could sell him for thirty-five million ish. I was going through the transfers. It's always, yeah. it's all profit. It's straight money. You're yeah, I was going right. through the transfer market a couple of days ago just to refresh my memory. And what Arsenal Banger used to do: get a guy in for four, selling the Barcelona for four. Yeah, that's what, that's what man, you should be doing. The name is big enough where that's what we should be doing. Yeah. But you instead you started going after stars. We did, and that's because, like you said, our academy was. Well, look at Chelsea. Chelsea did nothing but go after who everyone else wanted. Yep. And now they're 12. Tight giant anchors around their neck with <laughs> contracts. Which just say nothing else of, okay, maybe you did skirt around FFB. You're going to be playing Mudrick yeah. for years. Yeah. And no one's going to When Arsenal started and finishing eighth like, instead of four. Like yeah. They're going to look like a bunch of old players who retired from playing every single game. Yep. When, when Arsenal started finishing eighth instead of fourth, the means went away. <laughs> that was when we started to paying. For the six <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, and the mean counts down for the week. <laughs> uh, top four isn't that bad. But there's, damn. It's, it's a lot of money. It's, it's a lot of money. Is. And I, I think that Arsene Banger should be seen as a genius for keeping us in the top four for a long time. But when we went away, and it started being $80 million for Pepe. Yeah. Being, yeah. Let's give Ozil another contract. And it started being, let's get Lacazette and Aubameyang in the same Year. And it's just, I think if you look at how much we spent contracts. on Pogba twice, twice. Yeah. and how much twice. we didn't make on him leaving, zero, yeah, no, that's that's more than some squad spent on their entire squad. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, here we are with one player. That yeah. was uh, that was definitely an issue. But, all right, uh, so I want a moment, not just a player. I think Erickson's a great, great guy. I love Erickson. I want him to play for a team I can stand <laughs> at some point in his career. I mean, Brentford. Brentford but apart yeah, from that, play. just, oh, my God. I, I loved him when he was at Spurs. Yeah. That means I like a player. I, I was just like happy a player he came back. Like, number one, that was like to see him come back and play, period. Yeah. I was elated. And then I heard about, you know, I mean, if you look at the amount of players that Manny's been linked with, it's every one of them on every team. So yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. And then it happened quickly. And I was like, holy shit, we can't sign a player. We can sign him quickly, and we can sign a player the likes of Erickson. And I just hope that nobody was like, I think everyone's afraid to touch him. And I like that we took a risk there. Yeah, because that's the type of smart that's the type of smart thing you can do. But anyway, actual moment. Moment from the season. By the way, I'm going to let you know our Liverpool is I, I'm going to say, I, you know what? I'm going to say the Liverpool win. Yeah. And they kicked our ass. I think that was that was the, that was the need. I don't think we'd be in fourth if they hadn't beat us like that. I don't, think would, I don't think we would have had the motivation. See, you're helping them out. It was your Mayfield. <laughs> it was your Mayfield. Yeah. You, you need yeah. to get your pants pulled down and spanked openly. Talk about uh, seven mil. We, we are right we now. We are right, right now. now. Highlight of my we season. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we needed a good ass kicking by a team that everyone was shit talking all season. You know, oh, and like the, the dudes, you know, I don't know how heavy he is. He's got to be 200 pounds. We've got one 90 minutes every game. And he was out there prancing around us. And we looked yeah, It looked we dire. Looked bad. At that moment, it looked absolutely dire. Yeah, like, but that, I, I don't know what the locker room looked like after that, but I think it was necessary. 100% no, necessary. And I, I, I've talked about this a lot, and I've been talking about this, especially with the way Arsenal finished up the season. Everyone's saying, oh, it's like, oh, happening again. It's like, losing can be the absolute best thing for a team. That was just pace. This season was a marathon for you in Man City. And they got an extra bench that could go out and play. They literally they have, have a have B team. Kids. Yes. They have Still. a B team that mopped the floor. Kyle yeah. Walker was so a healthy scratch for months until he got his head screwed on straight. I hate him so and then much. he just came back and being it. But that's not even like, oh, I can cover an injury. That's I can tell that guy to go sit his ass down until he's yeah. God mode again, and then here he comes. Yeah. And also the Gundogan and Silva, it's just what are you gonna do? I, I think Walker's still got the pace as long as he's not yep. playing yep. full time, and that sucks because he's no, I, fast. Yeah. We, we looked at it last year. We lost out on top four, and it was horrible. But 
then what did that get us this year? And this year we lost out on the title, and it feels horrible. But what is that going to get us next year? We're going to spend money. We yeah. have a great core. We just resigned everybody. Ramsdale, Saka, Martinelli. We're talking about resigning Odegaard. Uh, it's going to be this I way for a little while. <laughs> it's going to be this way for a little while. Um, yeah, no, I think I think losing. As soon good. as I saw Saka sign again, I was like, oh, there goes that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I thought we were going to poach him, but I was like, oh, well. And that's why he's a good coach. Because, again, moment of the season when he lost big to a rival, because that's what gets your head straight. Yeah, that was the right time. At the beginning of the season, I don't want to know where we've been, but it was it was at three quarters of the way through. Well, we know we can kind of do beginning of the season. The beginning of the season when you guys were floundering was the Brentford. Yeah. Well, four nil. No, oh, yeah, Brentford and Brighton. Like, like Brentford right, is right looks downright terrifying. Yeah. Brentford just looks. Solid. Brighton looks terrifying, especially when you consider who they've got rid of. Yeah. Arsenal terrifying. alone have taken White and Trussard off. Of them. Yeah. And they they, they, they still take, look good. Yeah. yeah. Brentford looks like what Southampton always wanted to be. That's true. They're I tell you what, it's always been a team that has managed to attract talent and then lose it. Yeah. Like, and you look, Saudi Amane, Virgil Van Dyke, um, they still have James Ward Grouse. Yep. I can't uh, wait to see who he goes to because he cannot play in the championship. No, God, no. So if anybody's looking for a free kick taker, I mean, I'd be willing to spend money just on that. Right. like a hunter. Well, guys, that was an episode of Swinging at Shins. We appreciate you for coming out and listening to us. If you guys want to hear or see more, we have links in the description below. We hope to hear from you soon and hear more about what you have to say.